What's up, everyone? Welcome to Boys in Blue News, your go-to channel for the latest Toronto Maple Leafs updates. Today, we got a hot topic on deck. Matthew Kniez, one of the team's brightest prospects, could be on his way to a contract extension. Yes, the same young player who's shown last season and has already shown he's got a future in Toronto could now become a key part of the team for years to come. Let's dive into what's happening behind the scenes and what this means for the Leafs. And is there a blockbuster trade in the works with the Maple Leafs acquiring a superstar? Let's check it out together. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Your subscription is super important to strengthen our passionate Leafs community and ensure you don't miss any Leafs updates. Let's go! Matthew Kniez and possible contract extension with the Maple Leafs The Toronto Maple Leafs are reportedly in talks about a possible contract extension with Matthew Kniez, as reported by Sportsnet journalist Elliot Friedman. During a recent episode of the 32 Thoughts podcast, co-host Kyle Bukowskis noted that Kniez wore a, a, on his jersey during the preseason game against the Montreal Canadiens. This raised questions about the significance of this detail. Friedman expressed his curiosity about the possibility of a deal, stating that Kniez is becoming a crucial part of the team's future. He's entering the last year of his Yelsey entry-level contract, and it seems like there have been some talks about it. I'm not sure how far those discussions have gone, but it's a sign that the Leafs are thinking long-term, Friedman commented. Kniez Grove Kniez is now in his second NHL season and has shown remarkable development since joining the Leafs at the end of the 2022-23 campaign. He had the chance to play alongside stars like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner, where he demonstrated a complete and effective game. Despite facing some challenges during the long season, the young forward stood out, especially when he scored the overtime winner in Game 5 against the Boston Bruins, keeping the Leafs' playoff hopes alive. Last season, Kniez tallied 35 points with 15 goals and 20 assists in 80 games, adding 3 points in 7 playoff games. His chemistry with Matthews and Marner suggests he'll start the new season on the top line, which could further boost his production. Kniez value to the Leafs Friedman believes the decision to give Kniez the A, symbolizing a leadership role, is a clear sign of how the team views him. They haven't given that letter to many players so it says a lot about his importance to the group. If you have a young and promising player like that, you want to lock him in as soon as possible, emphasize Friedman. While extension talks are still ongoing, the fact that the Leafs are considering this possibility is already a positive development. Kniez, who didn't directly comment on his contract during training, has expressed his desire to stay in Toronto and his love for the city. Brad Living's Challenge with several players needing new contracts, GM Brad Trailiving faces a significant challenge ahead. However, Kniez appears to be among the top priorities on the extension list. The situation highlights the growing importance of the young forward to the team and the Leafs' efforts to build a solid foundation for the future. And you, Leafs fans, what do you think about this possible extension? Do you believe Kniez can become a star on the team? How would this impact Toronto's aspirations for the upcoming season? Maple Leafs surprise with possible acquisition of Trevor Zegras. The Toronto Maple Leafs, always determined to win the Stanley Cup, are in the spotlight with a trade proposal that's sure to excite the fan base. Imagine this. Trevor Zegras, the rising star of the Anaheim Ducks, donning blue and white. Could this deal really happen? What's at stake? According to Puckpedia, a user utilized the Puck GM tool to create an intriguing trade. The idea is that the Maple Leafs would acquire Trevor Zegras, with part of his $5.75 million salary retained by the Ducks, along with a 2025 second-round pick. In exchange, Toronto would send Timothy Liljegren a 2026 first-round pick and a 2025 second-round pick, originally from the Panthers. Zegras known for his skill and creativity on the ice, is in the second year of a three-year contract worth $17.25 million. With Anaheim retaining $2.9 million of his salary, he would be a valuable addition to the Leafs' offense, especially if Mitch Marner decides to explore free agency. Last season, 
Zegra has dealt with injuries but still managed to record six goals and nine assists in 31 games. His selection as the ninth overall pick in the 2019 NHL draft highlights his potential and talent. What does Toronto lose? On the flip side, Toronto would be giving up Timothy Liljegren, a promising defenseman who was a 17th overall pick in the 2017 draft. Lil Jagrendo, talented, has struggled to solidify his spot on the main roster, playing 55 games last season and recording 23 points. Zegras, stay or go? Rumors surrounding Zegras have been swirling for some time. NHL insider David Pagnotta reported that the Ducks are open to offers, but the price is high. GM Pat Verbeek has set a high value for Zegras, and several teams have shown interest, Pagnotta stated. Despite this, Zegras appears comfortable staying with the Ducks for another season. But could he change his mind if the Leafs make an irresistible offer? Preparing for the new season, while negotiations heat up behind the scenes, the Maple Leafs are focused on strengthening team bonds. Recently, they participated in team-building activities in Bracebridge, Ontario, aiming to foster unity before the season opener on October 9th against the Canadians. It's crucial for the team to bond outside of the intense training, said Coach Barubi. These moments are valuable for building relationships and improving communication. Now, we want to hear from you Leafs fans. Do you think a trade for Zegras would benefit the team? How would this move affect Toronto's chances in their quest for the Stanley Cup?